We got somebody beautiful here that's going to talk about Cedars in the building. And she is a, oh, I almost said it. Ah. <laughs> said I said I wasn't going to tell. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> you know, we that's what we do here. That's a lie. You ever heard that? That's a lie. Yeah, that's our, one of our sayings. That's one of our sayings Yeah, he here. tells a lot of them. Yeah, I tell a lot of them. On the show. Only on the show. I'm just <laughs> Perfect. I'm, I'm Perfect. Just, Okay, so Melissa, tell us a little bit about what you do, how long you've been at Cedars, and just yeah. why you do what you do. Yeah, so I'm at Cedars Youth Services. I've been here for about four and a half years, and I'm our executive vice president for service delivery. And so I oversee all of the services here that we offer at Cedars. Prior to this, I was doing case management with the state and overseeing all of the privatization for another organization and just saw the need for youth and families. And we partnered with people like Cedars. And so when I was looking for something different, just knowing the impact that Cedars has on youth and families and just the wide array of services that we're able to offer is what really drew me to Cedars. Okay. So walk me through a typical day. What time do you get there? Oh, about 8.30, get your 9 whole o'clock. Schedule, girl. On, on a schedule, there. I gotta, you know, I gotta do all this stuff at home first before I get here. What do you mean? I what? have four kids. I gotta get my four? workout in. Do oh, all of the, do all what's the, prep the ages? Stuff. Sixteen today. Uh, twelve yesterday. All right, I don't feel too bad now, guys. <laughs> I don't feel too bad. Go ahead. Uh, thirteen and a nine, uh, ten year old. Right. They all just had birthdays. Oh, this girl is a mouse man, Melissa. Okay, so. You get, forget, we ain't going to go to your early stuff. That don't count yep, for Cedars. Yep. Okay, so you get here, worked out, done, kids ate, breakfast, gone. You get right. here at 730, now what? It just depends on the day. Today? It's meeting. Today, I'm out here hanging out with everyone. Are and we here? Talking about Cedars, and we are here raising money for all of the youth and families that we serve. We're building a activity center, recreation center, really needing a place for our youth to hang and normalize some of their day um, after just some of the, the difficulties and the trauma that they've been through. What's all going to be inside this activity center? We are going to be able to offer as much as we can. We'll have a gym, a walking track around the gymnasium. I don't know if anybody said this yet. I'm going to get us a little bit off topic, Come but on. the gymnasium will be J I M nasium. Gym nasium. Okay. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? For Jim Blue. Oh, where's Blue at? He man? just peeked around the corner Blue. when I said Get that. over here, Blue, you little slickster. <laughs> Blue, come here. Get over here, Blue. I'm the only one that can bogart you like this. Get up, Blue, get over here. Right over in here. Get over here. Yeah, there's a hip on here. Come on. Slow down, Blue. Let's go. Anybody that's got more white hair than me has got to be able to. I got to let him go. I got to give him the respect, dude. Dog going it. Blue, you even got Champ coming over. Champ said, I got to come over, too. Hey, Champ. Blue, Beautiful dog. Blue, why are you hiding behind corners and stuff? <laughs> because and nobody people, and all your whole entire why. staff saw it because, and nobody told me. Because we have people that are so talented, dedicated, committed like Melissa here. I can just hide in the background and watch all the beautiful work. For the oh, community. is that what you, I thought you were photobombing us. No, <laughs> I'm betting your dog. Is that what you, what, hey, why didn't you guys tell me that he's behind us? Yeah. You got to warn, you got to warn me on this stuff because Blue slick like that. Blue, this is. How many years for you? 32. Tell me a little bit about Melissa and what she brings to Cedars. She scares me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> she is tough. I, she, well, 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 okay, I agree no, with that 100%. We, if week, you'd have told me I was sitting next to a mom of four who worked out, I'd have been like, no way. So I thought she was like 23. She is perfect. I mean, she all of the, say, 1,500 kids in our care today wow. are her responsibility. So not only the four kids – that of her and her husband, Jay's. Yeah. She has 1,500 kids at Cedars. Jeez. I know. So when we were, when we created this position uh, five years ago, I was looking for the perfect Nebraskan for this job. Uh-oh. You I turned called, me up. I called my daughter, who was involved in human services in Omaha. I said, who is that person? She said, Melissa Nance. What? She is a developer of people that takes no... Yes. Yeah. Developer of people. That takes no way. Melissa, she is awesome. he blue called you a developer of people. What does that mean to you? I think it's um <laughs> Blue, I'll, we'll let you off the hook today, right now. We'll let you off the hook, Blue. Don't be photobombing us now. You got so much energy. It, 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 
<laughs> yeah, I let him. Let him he, okay, so he said that uh, you know what I mean, a developer of people. I, I call myself a developer of people. A lot of people, Terrell, when he first started the radio, wasn't the Terrell Farley that he is today on the radio, right? So we had to develop him into who he is, and he, and he was a willing participant, right? So when Blue says you're a developer of people, what does that mean? I think it's just really meeting people where they're at, whether it's employees or families, youth that we're working with. I think everybody has potential. And so really just trying to figure out where that's at. We all come with different things. We all have difficulties that maybe other people don't know about. And just really trying to tap in and figure out where is that? How do you bring that out of people? Walking alongside them when there's difficulties, when there's good things going on celebrating with them and, and really bringing them into the family here at Cedars. And not only does that help people personally, but I think then as they're also working with other individuals, that development just continues to happen mm -hmm. over and over. What has been your greatest moment working at Cedars? I think really just seeing all of the staff and our um, just ability to grow in whether that's growing programs, growing the new services. One of the things, and we talked about it a lot last year, is with the Carriage House. That program, I think, is one of the things that I'm really proud of as an organization. What is that? Talk we, about that a little so bit. So the Carriage House hopefully will be opening up in fall of this year. It's currently under construction right now, and we'll be serving youth who are pregnant and or parenting. Oh, wow. So minors. I would um, imagine that we'll number have, is way up now. It Absolutely. What, do you know that number? I don't know that number. There's got to be a lot. There's, there's quite a few. Okay. Right. So we're preparing. We have wow. four single apartments and two double occupancy apartments. But it really was our street outreach, our bridges, independent living teams that had come to us to say, we have this need. We have this gap in service. And so to see that process through, really come through from frontline staff out there doing the work all the way to now building a new apartment complex, essentially. Sure or housing um, has been a really big accomplishment for me just to put all of those pieces together. And now in the same space, because it's just not about the positives, mm -hmm. what has been the, the toughest thing about working here at Cedars and what would you say you guys need the most besides money? <laughs> you know, I think some of the hardest things are just watching youth and families as they're going through difficulties. It's yeah. not easy. There, I just remember um, specifically there was a time at the front desk where I was covering and a mom had brought her child here to go into the shelter. A drop and off. just to see. Is that a drop off? Yes. Oh, so just okay. to see the embrace that they had and the tears of having to leave your child in a place that yeah. um, is new and different. And just to see that, I think is really painful. Mm. And I don't think a lot of people necessarily have that experience sure but i think that's probably one of the more difficult things do, do do they you know at that point is there a backdoor channel to come back into the kids life yeah absolutely so they have they can come and see their youth while they're here visitation youth can go into the community and you know whether that's going home and hanging out at home doing family dinners that type of thing or they're going out to activities we definitely work to make sure that those connections stay mm -hmm. intact Typically, most of those youth are, are going back home. Um, so we just we want to make sure that we have those connections for them. Now, here's the $52,000 question. You ready for this one? I, Is there Cedars Omaha? Cedars Omaha, yes. <laughs> yes, 108th and Old Mill. They wear blue? They wear blue. They wear blue? We actually had some of our Omaha blue. staff here earlier. Really? I Where's the Omaha staff? Right Cedars Omaha staff. Where? Do they, are there a couple down there? Oh, they're not outside. They're inside. We want to make sure we talk to some of them, too, for in Omaha, because I think it's important. There's a lot of people that listen to the show in, yep. o in Omaha, but don't necessarily know that you guys have a program in Omaha. So Absolutely. we want to make sure that we give my Omaha people, you know, you, you got to you have a backside tie to Omaha you, yes. th that we're not going to talk about. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a Husker fan? I am a Husker fan. Are you really? Absolutely. Who's I your grew favorite up in player? Lincoln, so I have to. Oh, you know, you I don't have a favorite I, I don't player. really get into players. Like no, that. you no. like the team, just the teams, the teams, the whole atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. How do your kids, because your kids are 16 and they're in the last 10 to 16 year range mm -hmm. where we have not been that good. 
do they like Nebraska football? Oh, they love Nebraska football. Really? Absolutely. That's good. Absolutely. Hubby like Nebraska football. Is he With from the, here? He is from here, yes. He's also. a Nebraska football yes. fan? Yes. So that's why. Yeah. Because the house is Nebraska yes, football. Yes, always. All right. Husker football. Terrell, you got any questions? No, I'm good. I'm just what? You. you mean to tell me you ain't got no questions <laughs> nope, for Melissa? I, I just, you, why? You took it. You took you it. Took I did it. not. Yeah, you took you it. You can ask her way. anything. I'll, go ahead. I'm oh, you. Here. I'm just here to listen. You know what? I'm here so I won't you get fired. You about to get fired. <laughs> right now. On the I've been fired for five before. minutes. Yeah, I've been I always fired you a lot. Yeah. And then we might need to bring in somebody else that actually got some questions. Yeah. Do you have one? Nah. I'm just I'm inst- I'm learning, so I'm just oh you learning about up. about, I'm sitting about and, cedars. Yeah, you know I'm just sitting there listening to the stories and just listening and learning. Okay, yeah. waiting for somebody to come match me these twenty dollars. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I got my wallet on me because I want to keep, keep you quiet. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna go to my truck and I'm gonna get my wallet. If nobody matches you twenty, I'm gonna put twenty. In. Yeah, that's good. That's that way we got fair. forty from yeah. the captain show. You that's think it. we can write it off? <laughs> This is a nonprofit organization, right? Yes, it is. One hundred percent of your donation is wrote. You can write it off. Yep. Okay. I just want to make sure that that's what yes. that is. To make a <laughs> gift, go to give to Lincoln.com and select Cedars. Stop by and see us at sixty six zero one Pioneers Boulevard. The coffee truck is gone. Now it's Muchachos and Mary Ellen. Where are they at? Oh, they, they, right. they better be here soon. I hope they that's, plug yeah, Mary Ellen right now. I've never had it before. Oh. What? Yeah. It's on so, my list. Long that's you, what I'm hey, listen, as long as you don't eat no pork butts with him, we're good to go. I, I, me and you will forever be friends. <laughs> but if you start talking about hog head cheese, chitterlings, all that stuff that he no, eats. No, Mary Ellen doesn't safe. cook that. Safe here. Okay, cool. <laughs> you, what is your favorite food? Oh, that's. I, I like a lot of food. Go give me your favorite. Uh, if you, if, go. What's your go to at home? Everybody's, they're waiting. Everybody's like this with their fork and their and their knife that you're cooking. Oh, R- Roman noodles. I, w- I wasn't gonna say at home, <laughs> but uh, a good prime rib. Ooh, I'm not making the prime rib, but oh, if I'm if I'm what going out with the prime rib, some potatoes. That's it. Yeah, mashed prime potatoes, loaded potatoes. Potatoes. Meat and potatoes. Yeah, there's nothing more Nebraska than that, right? No. <laughs> where's the beef? That's all I can hear in my. Where's the beef? <laughs> you know about where's the beef? Where's the beef? You don't know. He don't know about where's the beef. Do it. You have you ever seen the commercial? Yeah. What? How they say it? Is, is that the Chick Fil A commercial? Ain't no. It? What is it? No. I'm not, I'm not from Nebraska. Where's the beef? That? The little the little lady that say where's the beef? We probably didn't get that commercial in Georgia when I was hey, there. Is Rico back? Rico, <laughs> can you find that where's the beef commercial for us and play it, please? Listen, I'm with the black shirt and. Melissa. From Nebraska. And Cedars. Cedars. Come see us. <laughs> Fastest Thanks two hours in radio. Blues out there. Photo bombing. Champs here. DP's here. Rebecca's here. Everybody's here. We'll see you guys in a minute. I'll let your boy.